By 1944, the situation for the Nazi hierarchy was becoming desperate. More and more men and supplies were streaming across the Atlantic from the US into Britain. And soon the colossal war machine of the United States and its allies was set to crash land upon the shores of Normandy. Hitler demanded a final mobilisation of all reserves of manpower and weaponry for the fanatical defence of the Reich. But with German troops already beyond a breaking point, such fervour would require an alternative fuel. Drugs. Drugs that could keep them awake and fighting for longer, perhaps with an added sense of euphoria, making them all the more enthusiastic in their suicidal defence of the fatherland. Methamphetamine had thus far been a mainstay of Nazi attempts to turn their frontline troops into such super soldiers during the war, so much so that many were beginning to develop side effects such as psychosis from its long-term use. The authorities were aware that alternative preparations were needed. Several different concoctions had been hurriedly tried, even mixing several kinds of opiates with methamphetamine and cocaine into one frankly ludicrous hybrid. This was given directly to the troops with predictably disastrous results. Clearly, a more scientific, logical approach was necessary. Within the deranged world of the Third Reich, this meant testing the drugs on concentration camp inmates first. 22 miles north of Berlin lay Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Here, throughout the war, the Nazis had established a so-called shoe-walking unit. It consisted of something like 170 inmates of the camp, who would be routinely force-marched around a 700-metre-long track, made of a mixture of concrete, sand, mud, cobbles and gravel, simulating the kinds of conditions German soldiers encountered throughout war-torn Europe. The inmates would be laden with 25-pound rucksacks and marched 25 miles a day. Ostensibly, this lunacy was established to test prototype footwear meant for the German military, but for the wretched and emaciated inmates, it was also a torture. And it was meant to be. Members of the shoe-walking unit were chosen as a punishment for crimes such as laziness, stealing food, homosexuality or playing cards. They would often be given shoes that were too small, or of wildly different sizes for each foot. When they collapsed, they would be set upon by a pack of Alsatians. Around 20 died each day. The German Navy conducted secret experiments on the unit from the 17th to the 20th of November 1944. Beginning at 8.30pm on the first night, the inmates were given large doses of cocaine or methamphetamine in the form of tablets or chewing gum and marched continuously. By 1pm the following day, one man, a 20-year-old, was left standing. He had covered 60 miles. His harrowing spectacle was repeated four nights straight. Those that survived would be sent back to barracks, delirious and unable to sleep despite the extreme exhaustion, there to await a repeat dosing that same evening and a repeat 60-mile march. At 4pm on the fourth day, the inmates were sent back to barracks for a final time. Overseeing the experiment was Admiral Hay of the German Navy, who was evidently delighted with the results, and the reserves of energy and desperation the malnourished inmates had been able to call upon 
as a result of the drugs. A target of particular praise were substances marked B and C, which were cocaine salt and cocaine base, i.e. crack. The preferred means of administration was apparently chewing gum. As it happened, the administration of this wonder drug to the German U-boat force, now at the front line against the upcoming Allied invasion of France, made almost no difference, save causing severe side effects such as uncontrollable sweating, vomiting, hallucinations and an unfortunate inability to navigate underwater. Many of the operators were poorly trained new recruits plied with crack cocaine and sent out to battle. It is not clear how many inmates from Sachsenhausen concentration camp died as a result of the German Navy experiments of November 1944. Thanks for listening. If you like this, subscribe and hit the notification bell.